it is through something that creates an opening to the plant, can be environmental or can be through pest. Creates an opening and then the fusarium gets in the plant and infects the plant. We have had a long drought season and I think this is the one of the main reasons we have this problem. The soil starts to crack. Whenever it cracks, it destroys the roots underneath and it creates opening for the plant. Once the plant is weak, the fusarium will infect. Also, we have stem borer and we have sugarcane weevils that bore through the stem of the cane, create openings, and the fusarium also goes in there too. And, and also, and also you were asking if the fusarium will affect humans if we consume it. No, it, it will not. What it will do to the cane, it will, if it is severe, it depending on the variety of the cane. We have different varieties. Some of them, yes, it can destroy completely and some can be tolerant to it. And that is we're working on it and seeing which varieties are more tolerant. But we have seen in the variety that is more than 60% of the sugar industry is B79474. It is susceptible to this fusarium. And we have seen even some areas with the mortality of this this variety with the fusarium.